it's our second morning after the big move. And it's a peaceful morning, a little cloudy, little sprinkles of rain, but the sun is looking like it's going to come out. We're sitting here having our coffee. Princess Fluffy Butt is doing her thing. She's been on shrew patrol. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many shrews here. She's uh, really enjoying herself. She is the queen of this tent already. Woken up to Pookie running across my face. Apparently she was chasing a shrew that was scampering over the bed. <laughs> yes, I think the shrew ran over our heads first. <laughs> and then all of a sudden Pookie was on it. She is now Pookie, the Shrew Slayer. We're sitting here in our chairs, having our morning coffee, because uh, unfortunately the bed has no head bed and we have nothing to lean on, so it's hard to have coffee in bed. That's the one thing we gotta work on. Headboard. Headboard. Need Same a headboard. headboard. <laughs> Did I say head bed? <laughs> That's because I have bed head. <laughs> Loons on the lake, there was five of them. I took some footage. We might get some really good loon entertainment later. Because when it's fall and it's rainy, they gather and they just do amazing dances. I don't want to cook things inside the tent that will make the tent smell yummy to a bear. So this morning we're having an interesting, robust breakfast of potatoes and bacon. No eggs because we didn't bring any because we don't really have good refrigeration. You know, we're just sticking things in a cooler. But when we do go to town, I think we'll get some eggs. For today, it's potatoes and bacon. Oh, the burners are nice and hot. Jack is back there planning his building project for today. We're having fun puttering, puttering about, building things, and we're repurposing and reusing a lot of the scraps around here, which is good. That old propane tank that we're using was here been laying there for probably a decade, but still works fine. And Billy lent us his old Coleman cook stove so we didn't have to buy one this year. And we're just using a lot of the old lumber and odds and ends around that are kind of, you know, rotten or whatever to do our makeshift temporary stuff. Just getting comfortable as much as possible, but knowing that we're going to have to tear everything down and put it all away in a couple of weeks. And there's the princess. Stepping out of the abode, out of the castle. Part of our daily morning ritual is that first Jasmine comes barreling along, and then about three minutes later, John and Uncas show up. <laughs> We're not going to let Jasmine in the tent today, though, because Pookie was mad, like, until late at night. I think she felt betrayed. I well, maybe John and Uncas aren't coming today. Oh, I think I hear something. Here he comes. <laughs> Good morning. Ooh, radio. Yeah, I got a radio to get it for you. Hang on. Show you how this whole thing works. That's part of the radio. This is the antenna. Uh huh. John brought us a radio so we can at least hear the news. I'm a little bit too much of a news junkie to just go cold turkey. And I was saying, wow, I wish I had a radio, and he said, he's got one. Good morning. Good morning, Uncas. So what channels can we get up there? Well, that's what I'm saying. We get KTNA? Yeah, oh yeah, we get that. Okay, that's cool. We at least get the local. 4.5, that should be it. 4.550. Hmm. I'll get it, I'll get it. Just get it. <laughs> Father used to start his day with uh, two hours of Rush Limbaugh. You're kidding. Oh, no, he, he loved it. Because it made him mad or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, so he could <laughs> get no, his mustard up. Rush Limbaugh in the morning. And... and then he could rant about it all afternoon. Who's this? Our dad. Oh. God, that would drive me crazy. I would go insane. Oh, it did me. When I... That year that I lived up here with him. Now, come on. Maybe it's too cloudy. No, I'll get it. Oh, this is starting to piss me off. I can't believe it. Oh, I hear something. All right. Radio entertainment. The most random things like 
that movie I watched last week, <laughs> what I ate this morning. So going in the practice room and focusing just, okay, this, that's how I think practicing concentration is so helpful in your performance. I wonder who that is. Some genius little jerk. <laughs> Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> Figure it out. They're gonna tell okay. Me what station is this, do you know? I have no idea. Uh, I went to it might be KTNA. That would know, make I, sense I, that I the Talkeetna station is the one that's coming in. in. Okay, cool. Now we can fish around for some news and entertainment. Well, KTNA usually has uh, NPR. I oh, feel like that communist <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Settling into tent life here, having a little cup of tea. This little stove is great. I mean, just keeping a low fire in there and you take the little thing off the top, put water on, you got hot water all day long. I'm working on the next video. Jack's outside. He's working on making a, a shelf for this little thing in the corner so that we have more storage and places to set things. John's not here yet, and there is a beautiful lumber. No. But I don't want to give away the next episode. Hi, Sugar Lou, what are you doing? There's a kitty. Jasmine is hanging out again today, but we're not letting her in the tent because uh, that kind of ticked Pookie off yesterday. She got mad and hid. For the entire evening. Yeah, she's out there, but she's not coming in today, Shuggy. Okay? some more of the one little spruce that was there and some of the little birch sucker trees clearing out the view and also making more space for the trees that we're going to leave to grow and be part of the permanent landscape here it's starting to rain pretty good but we do need some dry firewood so that's part of the impetus of uh, wanting to get that at least that one little spruce down because we can cut that up and it'll probably be pretty dry and that'll be good Okay, we've got a very wet day. It poured all night last night. It's raining right now. So it's a good time to burn up some of this brush that we've been creating. Because we're creating more and more and more of it. We've got piles and piles of it. So I did the old trick of throw a little gasoline on the damp branches and got her going. It's kind of a nice thing too when it's a wet rainy day and got a little brush fire going and you know it's safe. It's comforting. Jack's over there processing. There he is with his axe. Lumberjack. So is, is that axe a, a strat or a tally? <laughs> that was all in your hands anyway. <laughs> There's Jasmine lounging the day away in the tent. Pookie went to her other side of the bed hiding spot when we started the chainsaw. She's going to have to get used to that. And that's what's going on in tent life today. Well, we have been joyfully working in the rain on and off all day. Got a lot, a lot, a lot done. I cleaned up and burned so much brush. So that's great. But I wanted to show you how hard it's raining now. When it rains this hard, the rain, the raindrops hitting the water actually make bubbles. I used to love to be in the lake when it did this. At eye level, it looks like little ballerinas and then little space domes or something. The little bubbles are so beautiful. It's really coming down. Let's see if I can get a better shot of the bubbles. I'm already soaked, so that doesn't matter. 
Yeah. That's some serious water. And I'm soaked from working in the rain. So I'm going to go back in the tent, start a little fire, get it cozied up in there, make us some lunch. And uh, maybe turn on that funky little radio and try and find out what's going on in the world. Oh yeah, she's a coming down. This is the kind of weather that makes the loons dance. So I gotta be prepared to come out here and film them if they start up. Cause it's so cool. Woo! Let's get dry. Oh, here, let me. No, you have to hold it in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's cheating. Look, a smile. We're heating last night's burritos, and we're just we're doing some literally stovetop cooking here. <laughs> heating the tortillas on the stove, which is much hotter than when we did it yesterday. So, uh, yeah, that burrito got way done way faster. Mm -hmm. But this is tent life. Yeah, we cut some good wood today. It's really burning good. We did. That was part of our objective today, was to cut some good dry wood, and that we did. Got a nice little pile here, and uh, it really makes a difference. Good wood is gold. Yeah, man. It was absolutely pouring on and off today. We worked anyway, got a whole bunch of stuff done, cut some wood, started a big brush fire, and I mean on purpose, like, you know, to, to burn our brush pile. That was a bad <laughs> Yeah, it was, <laughs> we, we knew what we were doing. And uh, yeah, I've been, I've been working on video, Jack's been writing some music, and we're going for a lovely little canoe ride because it's turned into a beautiful evening. Yeah.